Exciting new cola gains popularity. Cola is great, says Cola Institute. Annoying housewife claims cola evil. Photo supplied by husband. I don't want to know what was going on in that husband. Going on in that photo? Dear God, I cannot talk today. I should be able to, to talk because I just spent 15 minutes of it talking into a microphone when it wasn't even when the gameplay wasn't even being recorded. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. It's been a while since I got the chance to record this. It's about three weeks after I recorded the last one. Since then, school has started back up, or classes have started back up, I guess it would be more appropriate to say. And, um, I haven't had much time to even edit those episodes that I recorded because, uh, it's a lot of work. A lot more work than I was expecting. Which, um, uh, yeah. Though I don't exactly want to be covering it covering it again because that's what I was talking about when uh, I won't even say the failed recording because it was not a recording I'm just a little miffed at myself right now all things considered but here we are we're playing as a poo and uh, and honestly not much happened I was just running around this place and ironically enough talking about how absent-minded I am I'll just give you a rundown of what I was saying basically I have a lot of uh, reading homework to do which is not good for time management's sake because I'm very slow at reading, very absent-minded, obviously, and uh, absent-minded, I have trouble focusing even when I'm not talking into a microphone. It's just something like I've always had trouble with, and uh, it hasn't gotten better in college, not at all. In fact, it's probably gotten worse. At the very least, my work ethic's gotten worse, but that's what I've been dealing with, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I haven't had time to edit videos. And there was something else I was going to say on that note, but I can't remember either. Again, because I'm absent-minded. One thing I will note real quick about the game itself is um, these wasps, now they have shields around them. Little bubble shield things that you have to kick and make them disappear. And they give off a coin that you can collect. But you can uh, kick them. But you can kick them. Do that. You have to kick the wasp again and destroy it before it uh, shoots and shocks you. The bubble shields themselves, it reminds me a lot of... No, no wasp over here. It reminds me a lot of uh, the shield that Mew has in uh, Pokemon Snap. The shield that you have to hit and knock off of it before uh, you can take a picture of it. That sort of thing. And, um... Uh, yeah. Also in that failed recording attempt, I was talking about how... Uh, with level 5, obviously, you, you're here as a poo, so it's not just about the Simpsons that you're playing with. It's also, uh, well, I'm not going to say anything else, but you, there's also side characters in this game, obviously, a poo. And, uh, yeah. But the thing is, I don't remember too much about his level. There's precisely one thing that I remember about these missions. In fact, I think there's only one mission that I do remember. And it's the same one. So, otherwise, we're sort of in the dark. Oh, no. I think I remember another one. At least I remember, I know what Im another one involves. So, you know, two out of seven. That ain't the worst memory I've had. I wonder how many of these Collector card. Hot dog. But I just generally find this uh, level five a little unmemorable. It's certainly not the worst. I think uh, I said before, either level fours... Level 4 is probably the my least favorite. I won't say the worst, because, like, I don't know much about game design. My giant gut but, no, come back. Me down. We don't have that. No, stay, stay. No, come back. Thank you. There aren't that many uh, interesting special civilian vehicles that we have in uh, Level 5. One of the reasons why it's so unmemorable. But one of the things you have is an ambulance. This is not good for my insurance. And it even has uh, this, the slow... Uh, siren like actual ambulances do but we'll turn that off what in the hell were you thinking? also sorry if you, you heard me turn hurt turn hurt me turn my head there my phone went off so i actually i felt the vibration on the floor which was a little weird because like i didn't hear it i felt it so that was a bit of an odd thing oh sorry bud but yeah the ambulance is not that good it's slow but it's heavy also, uh, need to get that wasp real quick. This one, yeah, it was giving me a little bit of trouble the first time because it runs out of the way. And, uh, gotcha. But, uh, 
yeah, I just find this level generally unmemorable. It's the same location Bart was in before, so that's pretty cool at least. And it's at like, um, dusk. Yeah, that's very dusky. So, sunset. Hmm, I think we were at sunset before. This is a lot more dusky. So, yeah. Nighttime, evening, I guess you could say. You know about the time you'd... You, it's about that sort of lighting you'd have when you're driving out to dinner. To eat at a restaurant. But, we have another special car here that keeps on driving by me. A vote for Quimby van. Vote Quimby van. I cannot talk for the life of me. And, uh, you can hear it giving off that horn thing as you drive around a little bit. But, because it does give off that sound, you know what you can do? You can spam it as much as you want. So, that's an interesting thing. I don't- I didn't really remember this car from the first time I was playing. Unfortunately, because I didn't have the recording, I lost my reaction to finding that out. To finding that out the first time. Well, not quite finding it out, just remembering it. Because, like, I don't care. I- when I first played this, I didn't care at all about politics. I didn't understand anything about it. I've since fallen in love with the subject, which is why I just decided to study it in college. And it's why I'm taking all those difficult classes that I was so complaining about. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I ha I've been off the series for a little bit. It's because uh, the time the time spent on work has been a while. And uh, like when I'm... Honestly, when I have that level of work, when I'm not... Hold on. Let me destroy you. Getting our money out there. And there's another El Barto thing. Speaking of El Barto. If we come over here. We have this uh, garbage can again. And Otto will talk to you. I think last time I mentioned that in. Uh, in uh, Bart's mission. In Bart's level. Uh, I think I mentioned. I, I accidentally misspoke and said it was Barney. It's not. It's Otto. Or not Barney. Mo. Now I'm, you know, all the side character, all the side male Simpsons characters. I just get them all mixed up in my head, apparently. But where, where's like a Pooh's actual car? There it is. There's also newsstands around here that you can destroy. Get a fair bit of money from, so that's good. But... We'll get into Apu's actual car, because it's a little interesting. Uh, if the sign will cooperate, I can show you. It's sort of, it's the same uh, vehicle that we had in uh, the level that we failed at with uh, Kalidus. Yes, I still remember. But it's all around, it's not that bad a car. I think its main problem is its toughness. It can get dented pretty easily. So... But aside from that, it's pretty good in everything else. So it'll get it'll get you through most of what you needed to do. What also, Nelson's over here. I thinking? didn't recognize him before. I, I didn't me verbally mention Verbally recognize him, though. Also, there's the gambling. And you might have noticed Gale back there as well. So we'll check him out in a minute, see what cars we can buy. I already know. But I still need to show you guys. Also, you might have noticed in... Uh... Oh, yeah. One thing I need to mention. Apu's double jump. Uh, first of all, his run doesn't bother me like other people. He just sort of swings his arms a little bit faster, which is pretty normal, all things considered. But his double jump, he kicks his uh, legs in the air, and I've always been like, it's just like Luigi! Now, Luigi doesn't really do that anymore. He hasn't done it since, um... Uh, well, he kind of does it in uh, the games where he actually gets extra height, like in New Super Luigi U or Mario 3D World, but... Like, the reason I always think of Luigi kicking his legs in the air is because of, um... Who put this here? It makes no sense. It's because of, uh, the DS version of, um... The DS... Not DS. Why can I not speak today? The Game Boy version of... Game Boy Advance, specifically. Version of, uh, Mario World, where Luigi does the kick thing when he jumps. Also in, uh, Mario... Mario Bros. 2. Where... He also does the flutter, fluttering kick thing. But that's beside the point. It's just an interesting this observance. We can destroy these around here. And they don't respond, I'm pretty sure. It's just like the newsstands. So, we can clear up our way a little bit. Also, is there anything over here? 
Like anything in this little alleyway? No. But back to the point that I was talking about before. One of the reasons uh, I haven't been getting around to the videos is aside from the work itself, which is tiring, because I'm already like gone for most of the day. I, I leave home at like 7.30 to 8 o'clock, depending on what day of the week it is. Depending, it depends on when classes start. I have to leave at that time to make sure I get to school on time, and I don't get home until about uh, 4.30. And that's if I don't have extracurriculars that night. If I do, then I don't come home until around like 7 o'clock. Or later. No, it would be later than 7. Like, I'd get out of the meetings at 7, so I wouldn't be home until like 8 o'clock. So yeah, that leaves uh, not a whole lot of time on weekdays, and even when I do... In, even on the days when I do get home at like 4.30 or so. Um, oh, I still didn't mention it. This uh, magnifying glass. In level 2, it was uh, the sun was shining. And it was uh, raining down on top of that wooden building. And it caught on fire. And now it sadly burned down. I don't know why. It upsets me a little that it's burned down. Like, I genuinely feel like emotionally compelled by it. I don't know. I'm weird. In case you couldn't tell by now, I am weird. There's not much denying it at this point. Now, where's my vehicle? Over here? Yeah. Right there. But, when I do come home, I have to do homework, obviously, which is what I was complaining about. And even when I'm finished with that, I'm like, my mind is just like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to pick up my phone and watch either a dumb YouTube video by dumb YouTube video, I mean, like, one of the less players that I would... Well, I watch a little bit more than less players nowadays, but... Either watch one of the YouTubers, or listen to a podcast, or something like that. I really don't even have that much time for video games anymore. Honestly, uh, over... When, over winter break, I spent it all playing Smash Brothers, pretty much. And, like, yeah, Smash Bros. was fun and all. Like, it certainly was fun. Just pick it up if you can. It's great. But... And, um, uh, at this point, I, I'm almost upset I went through it so quickly. Because, like, with Brawl, that was, like, such a slow burn of content that I could just keep on coming back to. Despite me having so much time. But here's the police car. <laughs> Changing subjects. Here's the police car. The two cars we can buy from Guild. The police car and the same cola truck that we're supposed to be going after. We'll get to that in a moment. Don't you worry yourself. But the police car, it has very good stats. Which I guess you'd think a police car would need. So... Yeah, makes sense. Have good stats all around. And then the cola truck, it's also exactly what you think. Except for in speed, which is a lot better than I would think. Then again, this is level 5, so I guess they need some perk to give it, so you'd actually bother buying it. But it's very tough, so if we need to destroy anything, probably like the cola truck, we could be using that. We're not going to be buying anything right now, but we'll just be heading along. Also, did I break the... No, I didn't break this. Let me break it. I'm not talking about the car. I'm talking about the tube. Just get our car narrow enough. Come up here. And smash it. We did. Oh, no. No, we didn't. Because it gave us a coin. Also, I haven't left the area. So why would it... Why would it respawn? Respawn. I cannot talk today. Maybe I should only record this one episode. Maybe. Maybe. But anyway, back to my point, so I can finish talking about it. Um, yeah, I don't... In my mind, like, especially editing, editing videos, in my mind, even though I've been doing it for a year and a half, and I've done, like, well over 50 videos at this point, I, in my mind, it is always so much worse than it will actually be. I'm like, oh, it'll be such a hassle. It'll be like an hour to edit a 20-minute video, and no, it, no, it's not. It's like 25 minutes to edit a 20-minute video, because you watch it through, you move, you cut out the audio when necessary, and then you cut out. You might, it might even be shorter than the t than the time the video length actually is. The episode is because uh, if you cut out, because uh, like if there's a section where I skip and I cut it out, it's simple. I cut the video, go down and cut the audio, which takes all of about five seconds in total, and then you scroll along until you notice I start talking again, and then uh, I cut. I'm about to get hit and run. And then you cut back in there. It doesn't take much time at all. It takes maybe 10, 20 seconds. So you can save time that way. But in my mind, video editing is still so intensive, even though I really don't do anything more intensive than putting text boxes on the screen. 
but I don't know. That's just like a mental barrier I've had ever since starting this channel. I've been like, I don't want to edit videos. It's like, honestly, it's probably my least favorite part of this. I know, I know so many other content creators, are, they're so meticulous about their editing because they love it to death, and I'm just like, no. But again, that that's before I started. Like, once I'm actually doing it, it's fine. Those 20, 20, 25 minutes, they just flow by. Eh, we'll talk about that monster truck later. You can guess what it is. But, like, that's still a barrier I haven't been quite able to overcome. Even though every time I've edited it... Well, I'm not going to say every time. There's been a couple times from my editing program which is like, mm, you know, I'm just not going to work today. And that was frustrating. Or my computer was just like, yeah, I don't feel like it. And I'm just like, well, this is the one time I do feel like it. So what are you doing? But, yeah, that's... The point is, there's still, like, a mental barrier that I have to overcome to, um... When it comes to editing videos. And... Yeah. So, it's not like I'd actively seek it out at. It's not like I'd actively seek that out to. Uh, to uh, entertain myself. I'd much rather just sit down in a chair and, like I said, either play a video game on my phone, play Smash on Switch, or. Uh, and by video game on my phone, I'm not much of a mobile gamer. The, the problem is, I'm addicted to Fire Emblem Heroes. Fortunately, not in a way that I have to spend money. I just boot it up all the time, and uh, I also play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp because I need to fill the void waiting for the Switch, the Switch version of Animal Crossing. But that's what consumes my life. And then watching videos like Miss Anella and Chucky Conroy and Stephen plays, and uh, Nintendo Capri Sun and the Runaway Guys, and basically, basically that whole crowd. What's a Pooh's idle animation like? Do they really do anything interesting when they're in their normal outfit? Not really. He's just kind of looking around. Anyway, we'll talk to Nelson. Hello, little hoodlum. What is causing you to be standing here now? I'm supervising a bonus race, do-rag. I feel like that's an offensive term. But Three, we have a circuit race anyway. Two, it, loser. This is not good for my insurance. Well, that was pretty nice. And fortunately, we're fighting... In Fortunately, we were racing against two very slow vehicles. Unfortunately, I know what this car is in front, and it is by no means slow. It will be a very formidable opponent, as you can already see. Apparently, the trucks are formidable opponents. Or I'm just bad at racing. That's probably the reason why. But yeah, that's another reason, aside from not having time. When I do have time, I'm... Honestly, I'm incompetent. I'm lazy. Editing just isn't something I want to do. And, um... When I do have the time, it's, I'm usually not... I'm usually not home alone, so I can't exactly be, like, recording during that time if, if I want to do that part. Crap. We were supposed to go uh, counterclockwise. Should have followed the signs. We've already lost. Awesome. Let me at least complete a lap so I know what I'm doing. But yeah, that's one of the reasons videos haven't been getting done as quickly. Hopefully, now that I verbally... I'm going the wrong way again. But now that I verbally acknowledged that uh, the video processing, video editing process isn't so bad, maybe now I'll have I'll have the motivation to do it instead of being like, hey, I have 20 free minutes and I can watch this save video. Or now I can be like, that, that you know I can hit to the save later playlist and watch it then. You know, when I don't have obligations and instead I can fulfill my obligation to you guys. But, so, so yeah, hopefully we can get that f fixed up soon enough, now that I've acknowledged it, and acknowledged it to you guys. So, yeah, hold me to it if you can. Please. Three, two, floor it, loser! But, and then, um, so yeah, that's... There's a bit more about why I don't have a much, so much free time, aside from just work stuff and lack of focusing. But I'd rather not get into the nitty-gritty detail, nitty-gritty details of that. It really wouldn't make for much interesting stuff if you would even consider this video interesting in the first place. But that car that's in, in first place, it, 
It's a good looking car, if I do say so myself. Very snazzy looking. You might notice who's driving it because we got a bit of a close up there. As close as we can with this sort of camera. But gosh, he is so much faster than us. We might not be able to win. We have to cut these corners if we want to win. Let's cut this corner. Ha ha ha! Now we're going to crash, and uh, he'll be ahead of us again. That's how it all works out. So which way do we go? Do it? Do I go forward? I go forward, right? Right. Yes. That's bad. Don't go into the the potholes. Don't crash into the railing either. Wow, he is right on our tail. Come on, mysterious character. This isn't Mario Kart 6. Oh, God. This isn't Mario Kart 64. You can lay off trailing my behind. Like that. See? Now I feel like I can breathe. But I went into this race even though... Because I want to do something. We've I've just mainly been walking around and doing exploring as... Um, I've been talking about this stuff. Being absent-minded. Case in point proven. But, uh, yeah. But I, I basically said everything I want to in that regard. Hopefully, things will get better. Hopefully. One thing I will say, though, um, even if this semester doesn't go too well, the semester ends in March. So, that's what, like, not March. God, I wish it was in March. But it, it, it ends at the beginning of May, and then I'm on summer break after that, and I don't have anything planned for the summer. So, you know, I'd have uh, quite a bit more free time on my hands, and that was a bit too good of a turn. That's also a bit too good of a turn. But at that point, hopefully, I, I'll even I'll have more free time on my hands, and I can be like, "Hey, I have plenty of time to play the video games that I want. I can do that sort of stuff, and uh, edit videos if I want to. I need to watch where I'm going. Oh well, he was coming up the wrong side of the road, so you know, I'm still in the good. It's not my bad. And uh, yeah." But, I, f I do feel like there was something else that I want to talk about. Not, like, severely importantly. Wow. Got caught. I'm an idiot. You know what? I can also just cut that out. So, why don't I? In case you didn't notice who it was before. I might as well not spoil the surprise. You did better than the American drivers. I am American! Sure you are. That's great. I feel like a Brahmin. Well, we got a race down, so we did some progress. And he did a little flip kick sort of thing. Or jump kick, I guess you could say. I don't know what the term is. <laughs> Our car almost didn't make it through that poor race. We'll uh, heal him up for the time being. And uh, knock down that crusty sign, because why not? And come through here. I have room in my pants for this. But... I can't really remember what else I was going to talk about, so, you know, it's not the biggest deal. If I don't remember, it wasn't that big a deal. That's the theory I'm going to go with. But I do realize that uploads on the channel have been not very good. Part of it has been because, like, I... This is sort of related to what I was wanting to get out before, is because, um... I can, and part of the reason I can't focus is because uh, when I do try and sit down and focus, I end up daydreaming more often than not about stuff to do. And part of that is uh, uh, random videos I want to do on the channel. Either a future Let's Play series, which I have in mind. Um, and by series, I mean like the whole video game series of what I want to do. But the problem is I don't even have the hardware to play all of them. Well, one of them I do actually. So I could theoretically start playing that. Uh, yeah, I I could, but the problem is I ha I haven't actually beaten the first two games of those in that series, so I'd rather wait a little while for it. And um, so yeah, I'd rather beat those games, and then with the other the other series, I don't have the I don't have the hardware, like in computer power or game console for that matter, to. Uh, play the games in the best version. I can play them, but they'd be the most graphically inferior versions there are. Is the only problem. Of just about every game, of just about every entry in that series. But, uh, yeah. That'll be fixed in due time, because, um, 
so I shouldn't say soon enough. It's not going to be soon, but maybe eventually I'll be getting a PS4 because um, it has. Well, the main reason I'd be getting it is for the two Resident Evil games that are released on it, and you could be like, "But you can get those on PC," and like, "Yeah, I could," but it also has Death Stranding on it, and uh, does PC have Death Stranding? I didn't think so. <laughs> PS4 doesn't have Death Stranding either. We don't know if it's come. It, we honestly don't know if it's going to be released on PS4. It might be released on PS5 for all we know. So I'm not counting my chicks before they hatch. There, I I'd rather wait and see. Do the wait and see approach. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, he did put it on. He being Hideo Kojima, did put it on PS4 and PS5 though, because after all, that's what he did with Metal Gear Solid 5. That's how I played Metal Gear Solid 5. I played the PS3 version because the PS3 version was much more affordable, and I also got the PS. I got a PS3 to originally to play that. Well, no, it was. I think it was announced for PS4 as well. I originally got it to play that and um, Persona 5, which also got released on PS4. But at the time, it was only announced for PS3, and um, and uh, we, there, there's where we can buy our other car, and um, also because uh, that was. The PS3 is the only way to, uh, it was the only way for me to play other Metal Gear games. It was the only way, or only feasible way for me to play the original version of Metal Gear Solid uh, 1 because, because, um, the original version I played was Twin Snakes, which I thought was fine. Uh, that's a discussion for a different day, believe me. In fact, uh, that was one of the video ideas that I was talking about, daydreaming about stuff. It was about how talking about Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes versus Metal Gear Solid 1. And in general, just deconstructing the whole Metal Gear Solid series. But now I'm being absent-minded again. I, um... Uh, that was the only way I could play that game, so that was a plus. It gave me VR missions, which... isn't much of a plus, if I'll be honest. It's not that good of a game. Metal Gear Solid 1 is. VR missions, not so much. What is that bass sound? Do you hear that? Is that the blimp? Or is that my headphones? I don't know. That concerned me. It's still there, in like the background, so I don't know what it is. Also, hey, it's Professor Frank. And he has something for us, I'm not quite sure what, honestly. Maybe the bonus mission? I feel like the other bonus missions were labeled differently from that though, so I don't know. Anyway, 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 I was talking about stuff. I was talking about, um, I was talking about, uh, but yeah, aside from the, the Let's Play games, I wanted to do, uh, oh, did I get, did I spill the cat out of the bag when talking about, I should just go ahead and say it. The two series that, two full-on video game series that I eventually want to do on this channel are Metal Gear and, uh, Resident Evil, because both of those game series are... Ones, how did that trash can get over here? Are um, ones that are very dear and close to my heart, but and I want to, I want to play those games in, in ways that would be as respectful to the, actual games as possible, which requires waiting until I actually understand what the heck's going on in Metal Gear One and Two for Metal Gear, and then uh, and also, well, now I do have, I have the best version of all of all the games in that series, because of the PS4 bringing it all full, PS3, set, sorry. Because of the PS3, bring it all full circle. Because uh, I, have, I have the best way to present Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear 1 and 2, Metal Gear Solid 2 for that matter as well, and 3. The best visual way to present all those games because uh, that's the way you get the HD version. And, um, and Peace Walker. In fact, that was the only way I could play Peace Walker without buying a PSP. And I didn't want to do that. No one, No one in America wanted to do that. And, uh, it was also, to this day, is still the only way to play, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. The PS3 is. And, uh, what an experience that was. A good experience, I'll say. People have been fond of hitting on that game. I'll defend it. It may not be my favorite, that still goes to Metal Gear Solid 3, but I will defend it. Also, Ralph's there. So, that's something interesting for us. Honestly, I don't think we have that much progress to show for this episode, even though I've been talking a whole lot, because, uh, it's mainly been in Wasps, and, uh, 
mainly been in wasps and collecting coins. And Jesus Christ, we got a lot of coins, though. I think we got... We nearly got a thousand, didn't we? So, that's pretty good. And we still haven't explored that much of the area. Nothing under his head? No? That's unfortunate. Is that just the motor of the car? That was that bass sound that I was hearing? I think it was. That's a little weird. It makes sense, though, the motor. Excuse me. I am a lead, mean, machine. But yeah, that's those are the series that I want to do. It'll it'll have to wait a little while, especially because it, as part of the as part of uh, playing Resident Evil, I'd want to show off the remakes and play the remakes. Well, eh, kind of, and that's details for a different day. And uh, not good for my explain how the remakes compare to the originals, about how they improve upon the originals. And the thing is, for, for Resident Evil One, I haven't played the original version, so I don't know what to compare the remake to. And for Resident Evil 2, the remake came out yesterday. And uh, I don't have a way to play it, unfortunately. So, my heart. Trust me, I want to play it. I want to play it really bad. But, yeah. That, that has to wait for now. And then, uh... But yeah, I get distracted by just thinking about other video ideas to do for this channel. Including, like random one-offs, which, some of which also involve Resident Evil, incidentally, Resident Evil 4 specifically, and then, um, just random videos that come to mind, and, and uh, like, I, hurry up or my arranged bride will just I can keep on thinking, I, like, write down ideas for them, but then I don't make the videos, mainly because I don't have time, and, and, and in a couple cases, I, uh, my editing software wasn't sufficient to do the videos, so, unfortunately. But, anyway, anyway, anyway. I, I think I've been going on a bit too long just talking about stuff. Just complaining about how the channel is and how I want it to be. You know what? I almost slammed the table. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't slam myself, either. What's something dramatic that I can slam on without messing up the microphone? You know what I can do? I can pick up the microphone. Was that dramatic enough? I'll do it harder. I can make this channel what I want. That still probably sounded bad, me setting down the microphone. Maybe that should, that should just be my call to end the episode. What is our level progress like? One straight race down, two collector cards. I don't even remember number two, honestly. Wow, we already have a majority of the Wasp cameras. And only six level gags. That's a little concerning. But, hey. We are actually making, except for the mission, except for the mission portion, we're actually making pretty good progress on Apu, and I completely got sidetracked, and it's been half an hour. Anyway. So, yeah. That's things. I do hope uh, things will improve on this channel eventually. Not just having a regular upload schedule, but also being able to branch out and do some of those ideas that I did want to do, and doing more varied series instead of just games I remember from my childhood that I enjoy, and that sort of stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy it, too. Honestly, now that I've sat down and got all this off my chest, I actually feel really energized, and I want to do stuff now. I feel like I can. Especially after that motivational speech I just gave to myself. So, you know what? I think I'm going to record another episode after this, and it'll be productive. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.